begin with breaking news at four. Water pouring from the ceilings at an apartment complex in East Liberty. The tenants who live there say all of their belongings are ruined and they desperately need help. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso is there live with more now. Jen. Yeah, Kim, we are trying to get answers from the people who own this building here in East Liberty, but it is an absolute mess, as you can imagine. Residents have been coming in and out of here. I've learned from Zone 5 Pittsburgh Police that the power went out. There is no heat, and like you said, tremendous flooding. Residents were told to evacuate to get out of here. Now, Penn Manor Towers on North St. Clair Street here in East Liberty. People who live here telling KDK apartments on all three floors are flooded. Maintenance came by to help. The residents say they have no place to go and personal property is damaged. And also tenants telling us the problem started Friday. Electricity kept going on and off. Then the firearm went off. Then the water got out went out yesterday, came back on 1030 last night. Then today, when people went to turn on that water, there wasn't any. I talked to a tenant who says she went into the hallway, there was water everywhere, and she believes the pipes bursted. We woke up this morning to the alarms going off again, and then when I woke up, there was water everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Everything in my apartment is ruined. I have nothing. I tried to get as many clothes as I could out, but we need some help over here. So Penn Manor Apartments, it is owned by Community Builders Incorporated. I've reached out, I've emailed, I've called, trying to get answers as to what exactly was the cause to all this. A resident just told me that for two days they are being put up at a local hotel, but he says it's an absolute mess. And there, he said that he estimates there are more than 100 people who live here, elderly, handicapped. So you can imagine just how frigid it has been. This is just, the timing is just so unfortunate. We're trying to get answers though. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.